Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about picture in picture mode in Power Automate desktop. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In the latest version of Power Automate desktop, picture in picture mode has been introduced. If you click on debug menu icon then you will find an option which is enable picture in picture mode so what is the use of picture in picture mode in power automate desktop if you are running a bot in attended mode in that case if you have enabled the picture in picture mode your bot will run in a new window which means if your bot is running in attended mode in that case you will be able to work on your main machine without affecting your automation right so this is what I will show you today in this video so first of all what I will do is I will go to debug and then I will click on enable picture in picture mode the moment you click on that you will see at the bottom left that picture in picture mode enabled right so now what I will do is I will create a small automation and then we will run it in the picture in picture mode so first of all what I will do is I will launch the calculator application to launch the calculator application what I will do is I will go to scripting and from here I will go to PowerShell script I will drag it and here I will make use of copilot so I will click on generate script with copilot and here I will type write a script to open the calculator and then I will click on generate the moment I will click on generate you will see that a code will be generated and then I will click on use this script to be able to use this script to launch the calculator application and then I will click on save now what I will do is I will manually open the calculator application to capture some elements calculator application is open now what I will do is I will go to UI automation and from here I will take click UI element in window and then I will click on add UI element and then I will highlight a number for example here I will choose 7 so I will press ctrl and left mouse click to capture the element the element has been captured and then I will click on save Again, I will take click UI element in window and then I will click on add UI element and this time I will highlight plus icon so I'll press ctrl and left mouse click element has been captured I will click on save and again I will use click UI element in window or this time I will use this icon which is used for view suggested actions so I will click on this icon to see the suggested actions suggested actions are generated using the artificial intelligence so I will use click UI element in window I will double click on it and then I will capture the element and this time I will capture the 9 I will press ctrl and left mouse click and then I will click on save in the last what I will do is I will go to data extraction 
and from here I will use get details of the UI element in window and then I will click on add UI element and then I will highlight this area to capture the result. I will name this variable as result then I will click on save one more time I will use click UI element to click on equals to sign okay so I'm using the suggested actions double click on click UI element in window and then click on add UI element this time I will highlight the equals to sign and press control and left mouse click to capture the element. Now the element has been captured. I will click on save. Right. Now I will go to message boxes and from here I will use display message. And then from here I will choose result variable I will click on keep the message box always on the top toggle button and then I will click on save so this is your attended automation right where it will launch the calculator and then it will click on 7 plus and then it will click on 9 then equals to sign and then it will capture the result and the result will be displayed in the message so now what I will do is I will close the calculator application now I will run the bot so when I will run the bot you will see that a window will be opened which will ask you to enter the credential and then your attended automation will be executed in that window and when that execution is happening in that window you will be able to work on your original machine right so I will click on run you can see that picture in picture window is open now and it is trying to connect so window is open now now I can move the cursor on my machine you see everything is getting highlighted and execution in the back end you can see that it is still trying to run the bot here on the top you have option to enable the view only if you have enabled this option then you will not be able to interact in the window now you can see that it has launched the calculator application and now it is trying to click on 7 you can see that it has clicked on 7 then plus 9 then equals to it has clicked on equals to and then the sum is 16 and same thing you can see in the dialog box displays 16 right so for example if I enable this view only now I will not be able to interact with this dialog box right you can see that I'm not able to click and the moment I will disable it now if I want to close this calculator application I can close it and the moment I will click on ok you will see that your automation execution will be completed right so I will close this picture in picture window And then you have to click on yes so it will sign out the session so this is how you can use picture in picture mode in power automate desktop as of now this is in preview mode it is not available for production it can be used in development and QA and once it is available for general use then you will be able to use this feature in the production also so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section
Thank you for watching. Have a great day.